So that epiphany I had yesterday, while not necessarily a bad idea by any means, <laughs> I don't think it's gonna work. Now look, I know I work too much. I know I don't have healthy working habits. I know I should really adjust that, at least for the time being, until Emily's here and she can kind of, you know, tell me how it is, but I don't know. I just feel like if I'm not doing something, if I'm not being productive, quote unquote, my body doesn't do well with it. I, my mind doesn't, I, I, I need it as a sort of distraction, I guess, or else I get lost in this thought process, I guess, that just, I don't know. I have to be doing things. It's just not, it's not good for me to not do that. I know that's not exactly the uh, little fairy tale ending people want. I, I know, like, I should just, you know, be happy with my life and blah, 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 and all that stuff. But uh, it's just not how my mind works. I mean, maybe it will one day. I guess that's why I never really got, like, retirement. Like, what What, would I, what am I supposed to do with free time? I, I don't know what to do with it now. I, I don't have hobbies. It's just, it's just this. This is all work is all I know how to do. So I'm just going to... Just gonna keep doing it till I die, because what else am I supposed to do? I'm currently at Target because Emily thinks the cats need to go to the vet, which I don't think they need to go to the vet. But she thinks they need to go to the vet. And because she thinks they need to go to the vet, I need to get like a cat carrier, which I don't know if we'll find one. I could not find a cat carrier, which isn't great, or a donk one either. I guess I could go to like another Target, but I don't know. I can always just put them on a leash. Oh, that's probably fine. That's probably what I'll end up doing. Uh, it should be fine. Probably. So while that mission failed, I did get to spend a little time outside, which is good. I, I still have to get a cat carrier before I leave because, you know, traveling 2,000 miles with cats often requires being able to put them somewhere. So I'll, I'll definitely have to get them eventually, but... I, I don't know where to go. Like, I want to go to, like, a, a pet smart. So, I don't know. I mean, I can go on Amazon. It just won't be here in time, I guess. <sighs> that's fine. I mean, it'll be here before I move, so that should be fine. It just won't be here before I go to the vet. Whatever. So, I was all set to go play tennis, you know, to kind of get outside more than just the five minutes I was outside at Target. And right as I was about to leave... Andrew texted me, he's like, you want a podcast? And I was like, yeah, sure. So I podcast for an hour, hour and a half, whatever. And I decide, okay, now it's time I'm gonna go play tennis. So I get in my car, I drive to where I play tennis, which is at a high school, because they have like 20 tennis courts. And of course, right as I get there, school's getting out. And this high school has thousands of students. And the tennis courts, of course, is where everyone parks. So you can't get into the parking lot. You can only get out. So I, I guess I'm not going to play tennis, which, you know, sucks. And then on top of that, I now have to sit in this traffic because of all the students leaving school. Even though I'm not a student, I'm not leaving any sort of school. But, I mean, you know, it's just how it is. So, there's that.